So hey, what's up mga kote? It's me, Ate Marielle, at welcome sa Kodernos, where learning is the name of the game. So kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming YouTube channel, click mo na subscribe, like, and share button para mag update ka sa aming mga videos. So samahan natin si Super K sa panibagong araw at panibagong lesson na ating matututunan dito sa Kodernos. At ang bagong lesson natin for today is Eclipses. So ayan, before we start our lesson proper, of course, meron na naman tayong panibagong trivia for this. Um... Lesson. So, before we start, always, we will always have a trivia. So, for ex, syempre, nas natuto na kayo, mas matututo pa kayo. And, syempre, sometimes, yung mga pinipili ko dito, um, madalas to, um, random na tinatanong sa mga, ng mga teachers ko, mga prof ko. So, I will share it with you. So, yan, it's from the internet. And, marami ka matututunan if you always read trivias and facts from a Uh, ano ang tawag doon? From a credible source and a, um, of course, it's verified. So, yan. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth. Always remember that Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth. So, it reaching 5.5 mi miles into the sky. Wow, imagine. So, may mga tao talaga na nag to reach the peak of the Mount Everest kasi nga Mount Everest is very phenomenal because it's the tallest mountain on earth and however you'd need to stack three Everest on the top of each other in order to create something as massive as Mars Olympus Mons the largest volcano in the solar system Mars Olympus Mons the largest volcano in the solar system so if Mount Everest is the largest mountain on earth The Mars Olympus Mons are the largest volcano in the solar system. Always remember that. The enormous volcano is 16 miles tall and stretches 474 miles wide, approximately the size, same size as state of Arizona, according to NASA. Wow, sobrang laki. And grabe, triple yung size. So, it's the same size as the state of Arizona. So, if you search Arizona, you should... Uh, you can see kung gaano nga ba nag-stretch yung kung gaano ba ka wide yung ating Mars Olympus Mons. So that's our trivia for today. So this is the Mars Olympus Mons if I'm not mistaken. That's the picture from the um trivia site. So this is number one. So ang ating um lesson is eclipse number one, solar eclipse when a moon passes over the face of the sun a partial or total apparent darkening of the moon occurs. This is called solar eclipse. So, nakikita ko to sa moon embracing the sun, moon lovers, scarlet heart, and if I'm not mistaken, in Hotel de Luna. So, if really, if you watch K-dramas like that, you can, um, they can mention moon or eclipses. So, when it comes to their title, moon, Moon Lovers, Moon Embracing the Sun, and Hotel de Luna. So, di ba? Hotel de Luna. Luna. Luna is the moon. So, they mention this kind of eclipse. Or mga ganitong itsura ng eclipse. So, makikita nyo mamaya yung itsura ng solar eclipse. So, solar eclipse is the when moon passes over the face of the sun. So, parang nagpa siya. Parang dumaan siyang ganun. So, a solar eclipse occurs every one or two years. So, the solar eclipse happens... Um, every one or two years. So, you can wait. So, di ba meron mga news na meron tayong solar eclipse? Ganyan. You can watch the um, uh, yung solar eclipse. Meron tayong full moon, new moon. So, yung ating news from Jimmy, ABS, nag-announce sila. Meron mga super moon, blood moon. So, iba-iba yung klase yung ina-announce sila about moon. And it's very fascinating. And I really love moons. Salana file, I think. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> This is because the moon's shadow is small so that only the place where the shadow falls will have total eclipse. So, let's see what's the solar eclipse. This is the how total solar eclipse works. This is, um, I think, this um, solar eclipse, wait, let's have the ink. This one, I've seen it in Scarlet Heart. So, that's eclipse. So, how total eclipse works. So, ayan, this is the moon. Umbra, the shadow's fully shaded core. Penumbra. So, remember, there's El Gamma Penumbra. So, El Gamma Penumbra use uh, shadow to perform their uh, performance in Asia's Got Talent. 
So, they use shadow from the word itself. So, yan. So, parang nagka, ano, yan. So, partial total eclipse. So, Earth's orbit and Moon's orbit. So, yan. That's how the total solar eclipse works. So, lunar eclipse. When the Earth casts a shadow on the Moon, a lunar eclipse occurs when the Moon turns dark red or bronze. So, when you see this type na medyo naging dark red siya or naging color bronze, it's a uh, lunar eclipse. So, yeah, with, the, with Earth cast a shadow on the moon, a lunar eclipse occurs. So, yung may tuldok na yan, mali pala ako ng pagkaka-arrange. So, always remember kapag may nakita kayong dark red or bronze, that is called lunar eclipse. So, moon landing. So, dito na natin malalaman kung sino yung mga unang tao na nakatapak sa moon. Ano ba yung ginagawa pag nag-land ka sa moon? So, ayan. So, moon landings. Today, um, we have first-hand information about the moon. It all started when the US Apollo 11 landed people on the moon on July 20, uh, 1969. So, 1969 is also phenomenal for us in Miss Universe. I think 1969 was the first Miss Universe was Miss Gloria Diaz. So, and dami palang phenomenal things na nangyari during 1969. So, it's very fascinating and so cool. So, the two people, the sa uh, meron tayong binanggit ito ng name in Apollo 11. It's Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin. So, it's also known as Buzz Aldrin became the first human to set foot on another world or in the moon. So, they are from Apollo 11 and they are landed in July 20, 1969. So, there will surely be many answers to this question someday. Meanwhile, scientists are busy analyzing rock samples from the moon. To determine the possibility of disease-causing organisms, they have injected materials on mice. So, they are experimenting some things on mice or the gap. This showed no symptoms of any disease. They also exposed plants for plants lunar materials with no ill effects. So, madami talaga ng experiment ng mga scientists as of now for innovation and to study, to cure something, to discover something, and to prepare for something worse or better. Pre pre para din sa ating health and innovation to our world. So, they also expose plants in lunar materials. Walang nangyari. Naglagay sila ng, nag-inject sila ng mga disease-caused organisms sa daga. Walang nangyari. Some even grew better was sprinkled with moon dust. Wow! The plants with moon dust grew better. That's very fascinating. I haven't seen that kind of process, but I think that would be incredible if you seen the process of um, the experiment na nilagyan ng moon dust. I didn't hindi ko alam na pwede palang makakuha ng moon dust. So, ayan. So, this is still Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. So, ayan. They're the first people who landed on moon on July 20, 1969. So, this is very short lesson. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. So, click the thumbs up button if you like this video and leave a comment down below if you have suggestions, clarifications, and questions for our videos. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. Have a very good start for 2022. It's December 31 already. And I wish you all the best. So, thank you. Bye-bye.